Hello and welcome to Frogwatch 2018. It's really exciting to get started. Uh, we've come to this park area here and we're going to be looking for frogs. Now we've got a few problems. Um, a couple of weeks ago, well, earlier this week I happened to see a pond and I saw that there were some frogs spawn and there were frogs in there. Uh, now this weekend we've had a, another cold snap. There's the beast from the east. The, the temperatures have plummeted. Now this is a problem for frog spawn as, as a cold weathers can uh, kill the, uh, the frog spawn. They'll, they'll prevent them from, uh, from developing into tadpoles. So uh, we think there's a pond up this way somewhere. We're not entirely sure. We haven't seen it yet. Uh, but a few years ago we do remember there was a pond up here. And uh, we're going to see if there's any frog spawn. If there is, we're going to try and rescue some and put it in the warm and we'll, we'll see if we can get some tadpoles that way. Uh, so we're going to go off searching and hopefully we'll find some. Now if you, uh, if you followed on last year and the year before uh, this series, uh, you may remember me saying that the ponds that I normally get my tadpoles from uh, is, is now no longer there. It's been filled in and there's a building sitting on top of it now. Uh, so the difficulty I'm going to have this year is trying to find another pond where I can do the, the filming and stuff that I did before. So hopefully there's something up here that we can use. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so when we came down here a few years ago, this area here was where we saw the pond. And uh, this was sort of filled in, you can see where there's a dip in the ground. This was uh, basically a giant puddle and it had thousands of tadpoles in it. As you can see, it's obviously been uh, fairly dry, um, it isn't filled up, so we don't have any chance of finding any tadpoles here. But we do know, just over this way, there is another pond, and we've had a look, and we think there's something interesting over there. I don't think it's a real pond, it's more just a, a scrape in the ground that happens to stay filled with water uh, I assume most of the year round, you don't, don't often come down this way. Uh, but so after the disappointment of finding uh, that area dry, we came down here, so we knew this was going to be here, and uh, we had a look around. At first we were thinking, I don't think there's anything here, we walked all the way around the pond over this way. Uh, we, also, so we got to uh, over this side, but we found something really interesting, so we definitely need to go and have a look over there, and let's uh, show you what we found. So hopefully you can see behind me there are thousands and thousands of frog spawn in this area. Now, I mean, I'm no expert, this doesn't look like a fantastically well set up pond. There's not a huge amount of plant life. It's difficult to tell because it is so cold. You may notice that in the background here um, it is uh, snowing a little bit and um, you can notice on some of the frog spawn here the, there are patches of ice. This top stuff that's a little bit out of the water, that is uh, it's freezing and that is almost certain um, so I'm not sure, I mean obviously I think a lot of it will survive, uh, frogs will probably keep coming back and spawning over the next uh, week or so, um, but possibly, I'm not too sure really. Um, so some, uh, hopefully after this weekend the, the weather will improve and it will get warmer and uh, they're more likely to survive, but a lot of this, I, I'm almost certain a lot of this it will probably freeze and not develop properly. Uh, so I've got myself a jar and we're going to try and rescue some, there's no guarantee it's going to work. Um, we're going to take it home, we're going to set up our tank at home and we're going to see whether we can actually hatch out something uh, in the tank at home. That's not something I've ever done before. In previous years I've always taken tadpoles that have already hatched out. So this will be definitely a first for, for Frogwatch. So we're going to give it a go. I'm going to try and scoop up uh, a clump. I'm not too sure how much we'll be able to get. I've got myself a jar. We'll try and rescue some and we'll, we'll see, see what we get with this season.
Okay, so I've grabbed a clump, no idea whether any of this will survive. It is very cold in there. Um, but hopefully, once we get it home, if we'll get it warm, hopefully it'll be okay. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so we're back home now, and we've got the tank that we used last year. We've got some gravel, um, and we're gonna set up the tank ready for our frog spawn. Now, I did a video last year, which it went through the whole care process. I'll leave a link to that one there. So if you're interested in how to set up a tank properly and how to look after tadpoles, watch that video. I think I'll do a reasonable job of explaining how to do it. Uh, but first thing we need to do is fill this up with some water. I've got a jug here so I know exactly how much water I'm putting in. And now also, this is not something I've done before, um, I'm using tap safe. So this stuff uh, removes chlorine from water. And uh, now in the uh, sort of how-to video, I sort of will explain this kind of stuff, but um, chlorine will kill the tadpoles uh, as well as things like fish and stuff. So you need to make sure you use dechlorinated water. Now what you can do is use tap water and leave it to stand for at least 24 hours. You can use rainwater, you can use bottled water as long as it doesn't have any chlorine in any sort of chemicals. Uh, or you can use stuff like this. Um, so you can use normal tap water, add tap safe to it, something like that. That will get rid of the chlorine and you can use it pretty much straight away. So I'm going to get this all set up. I'm going to put the water in, I'm going to use the tap safe. We we'll need to leave it all to settle uh, for the temperature to acclimatise. We've got our frog spawn here, which is uh, just sort of settling there. Um, I've also got a couple of plants which we'll try and put into the, uh, the tank as well once the water is ready. And uh, then we should be good to go. So I'm going to get that done and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so uh, the plants are in there now. Uh, we've got, we've got uh, this one here at the back. We're going to come in a bit closer if you can get in here. One here at the back here, and there's a few clumps around the other way. So uh, I think that's going to look pretty nice. It's now time to add in our frog spawn. So uh, there is some pond water in here. It'll probably make it go dirty for a while, but things should settle down and hopefully be okay. Uh, so this should, uh, we'll just check all this in. Okay, so it's in there now, um, so hopefully um, they'll be do fine. We don't know whether the coals has already killed this spawn. We don't even know if it's been fertilised. We, we, we won't know for a few days. Um, we actually left this tank for um, probably a couple of hours to allow the, the temperature of the water to get to a sort of room temperature, so to equalise the temperature between the, the water of the tank and the, uh, the temperature of the spawn. So hopefully it's not too much of a shock being poured in, into there. Um, and yeah, so all we have to do now is just sit back and wait and hopefully these will develop. Now as you can see from the, the amount that we have here, we've got probably a good hundred or so uh, eggs in there. Now obviously that's far too many for the size of the tank. We've got about 12 pints of water in here. Um, if for a tank this size, about a 12 litre tank, you definitely don't want any more than about 20 tadpoles maximum. Um, any more than that, it gets a little bit too overcrowded. So frogs will lay thousands of eggs and it's quantity over quality. Only a few will survive. Um, but we'll see how many we get to survive from this lot, if any. And obviously if they, if they all survive, then we're going to have to be releasing a lot of tadpoles back into the pond and just keep a few uh, suitable for this size of tank. Um, but I think for now there's not much else we can do and just need to wait. So um, we'll come back next week and hopefully um, they may have hatched out. Maybe they'll have developed a bit more. Uh, we just don't know until then. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you'll come back next week and we'll see how they've developed. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then.